hi love welcome back in today's class we are making this beautiful men vest if you are new to the channel my name is miss Ayi, and you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back to class let's get right into class I'm going to be using a 4.5 millimeter hook, my acrylic yarn, stitch marker, scissors, and tape measure. To begin with, you are going to make a slip knot. And we are, we are going to start making the band of the top. And to make the band, you are going to make your slip knot and chain 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 11 after your 11 foundation chain you are going to skip one and make single crochet in the following 10 stitches one two three and i'll meet you at the end of the row so you should have 10 single crochet at the end of the row, this is row 1, for row 2, you are going to chain 1, turn your work, and we are going to be making single crochet back loop only. To make your single crochet back loop, you can see there's a front and the back. So you are going to place single crochets in the back loop only inside each stitch, so you should have 10 single crochet back loop only so work it and i'll meet you at the end of the row you should be having something like this for row three you're going to chain one and just as you did for row two you're going to repeat the same exact thing so make single crochet back loop only and at the end of the row you should be having 10 single crochet back loop only and this is the pattern for the band you are going to keep making this until you have 72 rows and i'll meet you when i'm done with my 72 rows if you haven't subscribed to the channel please my love do and if you're a returning subscriber thank you this is my 72 band complete and you should be having something like this. Now to begin the body of the work, you're going to chain one and place a single crochet on top of each row. So you're going to place a single crochet on top of each row and at the end of the the single crochet you should have 72 single crochet so if you you made a 50 band 50 rows you should be having 50 single crochet and whatever number you made make sure you have the same exact single crochet so do the single crochet row and i'll meet you at the end of the row And now I'm at the end. At the end of your row, you're going to chain three and for row one. Let's make this our row one. So our single crochet row is we are not counting that as a row. So for row one, chain three, turn your work, skip two stitches, and in the third stitch, you're going to make three double crochets in the same space. Skip two and make three double crochet in the third space and this is the pattern for row one skip two make three double crochet in the same stitch skip two make three double crochet in the same stitch until the end of the row at the end of the row you're going to place your double crochet one double crochet at the end of the row just as we started row two you're going to chain three turn your work you're going to prepare for chain three count as a double crochet so make two double crochet in that very stitch making it three and now prepare for three double crochet in your space in between the three double crochets 
and you are going to go on until the end of the row so placing three double crochet in between spaces until the end of the row row three we are going to end by making our three double crochets in the last stitch now for row three we are going to chain three turn your work and you are going to place your three double crochet in the first gap in between the three double crochets and keep making your three double crochets in the gap and you'll be building this until you get to row 24 so i'll keep making my granny stitches and i'll meet you at row 24 and we are going to be doing switching up a little I'm done and this is my row 24 and it measures 14 inches from the very start and now for row 25 you are going to chain one turn your work we are going to be making slip stitches in 12 stitches so I'm counting each cluster as as one so one two three and four so you are going to have 12 slip stitches after your 12 slip stitches you are going to chain three one two three you're going to prepare for three double crochet in the next space one two and three keep repeating this until you get to the middle and we will start our decrease row to find the middle of your work you are going to count 12 stitches from the other side of your work and place your stitch marker you are going to exclude both 12 slip stitches from the beginning and where the stitch marker is and you are going to start counting from where you made your three double crochet so you are going to ignore this four and you are going to start counting from here so i have eight and nine so count one two three four five six seven eight so meaning it will be i would have nine nine and the middle space is where my hook is so i'm going to make instead of three double crochets i'm going to make two double crochets in that space and that is row one for row two you are going to chain three turn your work i'm going to work three double crochets in the very first stitch space sorry and you are going to keep making your three double crochets until in between until the end of the row at the end you're going to make three double crochets so put your three double crochets there and that is the end of row two for row three you are going to chain three turn your work and work your three double crochets in between spaces and i'll meet you at the last space and we are going to start our decrease row so work three double crochets 
so when you get here you're going to work your three double crochets but you don't complete the last double crochet you're going to yarn over insect in the last space and work a double crochet so you're going to have the three double crochet is joined to the last stitch and that is your decrease rule and the sides remain the same you're not going to decrease on that side so moving on you're going to work your three double crochets in each space until you get to the end of the row row four you're going to chain three turn your work and you're going to make three double crochets in each stitch and in our last stitch we are going to make the decrease inside the last stitch you are going to make your lasting complete double crochet you're going to yarn over and make your last double crochet and complete it so you should be having something like this so keep repeating row 4 or row 3 and row 4 or your decrease row until you are at row 10 or until you are left with only four double crochet cluster and when you get to four double crochet cluster that will be my row 10 you are going to keep making now you are not going to decrease again you are going to keep making normal granny square stitches with no decrease for six more times so in total you should have 16 rows from the very beginning This is my complete 16 rows from the beginning and it measures 10 inches. You're going to repeat the same exact thing on the other side of your, your work. So this is the first part. So you're going to repeat the same thing on the other side and we'll be done with the front panel. So you're going to chain one cut off your work and you're going to attach your yarn at where you made the two double crochets inside the same space you're going to chain three and make another double crochet chain three count as a double crochet so you would have this and now you're going to make three double crochets in each space until you get to where the stitch marker is so this is rule one on the other side of your front panel so repeat this until you get to where the stitch marker is when you get to your stitch marker space you're going to chain three turn your work and be making your three double crochets in each space and start decreasing at the end until you have your 16 rows complete at the end of your 16 rows you are going to chain one cut and fasten your yarn and this is your complete front panel and it's done with the back panel you are going to start making the same as the front panel until you get to row 24 and get to row 24 you are going to make your 12 slip stitches and you're going to start making your three double crochets in between spaces until you get to where your stitch marker is again so you're going to leave 12 you're going to count 12 stitches and place a stitch marker but with the back panel we are not going to make divide it into two we are going to be building this and so we have 16 rows and i'll meet you when i'm done with my back panel with the back panel just keep making your three double crochets in between spaces you are not going to divide anything as we did for the front panel and i'll meet you when you have your 16 rows complete this is how my back panel is looking and this is what the work looks like now we are going to put the front panel and the back panel together we are going to attach both and i'm going to be attaching it at the wrong side of the work so you choose the right side where you want to be the right side and the wrong side to begin with i'm going to attach the sleeves and 
in so doing i'm going to be attaching it with single crochets so you're going to make 12 single crochets because it's 12 stitches in each stitch until the end of the row and whatever we are doing for this side of the sleeve we are going to do the same exact thing for the other side At the end of your single crochet attaching I slip stitch two times to secure and chain one cut and fasten your yarn and you're going to do the same thing at the other side now to make the bodice of your neck you're going to start with making two connect your yarn and make chain one you're going to make two single crochets in each stitch in each double crochet stitch so you're going to make two single crochets and make it around when you get to the v the very middle you're going to make a single crochet in the middle and you're going to keep making your two single crochet in each stitch until the beginning where you start from so this is the middle i've placed one single crochet and you're going to keep making your two single crochets and connect it at where you started i'm going to connect it with a slip stitch you're going to chain one or two cut and fasten your yarn and now to make the neck border you are going to connect your yarn at the very middle of your work and you are going to chain seven seven after your seven you are going to skip one and make single crochets in the next six stitches five and six so your six single crochet you are going to slip stitch two times in your single crochet space and you are going to turn your work work six single crochets in the following six stitches up so in the same single crochets you are going to work back loop only as we did for the beginning border the pattern is still the same so work six stitches up to the top back loop only when you get to the top you are going to chain one again turn your work work six single crochets back loop only in the following six stitches and when you get to five and six now slip stitch two times again one and two turn your work skip the slip stitch space spaces and make six single crochets back loop only to the top so you are going to be alternating from working and connecting from the top to down and you're going to go all round up until where the end of your work so you are going to be going round with six single crochets 
and connecting it to the main work and i'll meet you at the end of the row so at the end of the row you are going to leave a long chain and we are going to connect this later we are going to sew in later now to attach the size of our work you are going to connect your work and attach with single crochets so you are going to attach 10 single crochets in each stitch until you get to the end until you are done with the border so 10 single crochets and now when you are at the granny stitch you are going to yarn over and make three double crochets in the loose space the front panel make three double crochets now you're going to yarn over again make three double crochets in the loose space at the back so we are going to be alternating between three double crochets in the front and three double crochets at the back until you get to where your stitch marker space is or until you get to where the end of your 24 rows when you get to the end of the row you don't cut your work you are going to work single crochets in each stitch so we have first of all we have 12 stitches so work your 12 single crochet in each stitch and when you get to the mesh space you are going to be working two two single crochet in each space and when you get to the final point you make 12 single crochets in each stitch and connect your work at the end of the row and now for the borders again just as we did for the neck so we are going to chain six and we are going to skip one so the hands we are going to chain six six we are going to skip one and make five single crochets in the next five stitches At the end of your five single crochets you are going to slip stitch two times to the border to turn your work skip this slip stitch slip stitches and make five single crochets back loop only back up and so you are at the top of your work three four and five chain one turn your work you are going to make five single crochets back loop only and you are going to slip stitch two times to the border and you are going to repeat this all around just as you did for the neck and you are going to do the same exact thing for the other side of your work so you can pause take it back replay and make it if you if you've watched up until this point oh my love please 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 subscribe to the channel if you haven't and like comment let us know what you think about the video and if you're a returning subscriber my love my darling my sweetheart thank you for always coming to class thank you for being so 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 punctual so you're going to keep working this and Whatever you are doing for this side of the work, we are going to do the same exact thing for the other side of the work as well. And I'm going to go around. Now, when you get to the round, now we are going to connect these two together 
so you are going to attach it with either slip stitches or single crochets i'm going to be attaching it with single crochets so make five single crochets in each stitch and at the end of the row you are going to chain one or two cards and fasten your yarn and we are going to attach the neck as well and you'll be done with our work To connect the neck you are going to you're going to sew in all loose ends and turn your work to the right side and connect uh, your neck with your dining needle or you can use slip stitches but it's only advisable to use a dining needle at this point you're going to make sure it's in the line of your single crochet line so one would not be longer than the other so just place it on and sew in if you want you can leave it like this or you can seal the other side as well but i'm going to go ahead and seal the other side and when you are done you are going to fasten your yarn and cut all loose ends and you are done with your work if you made it up until this point this very last point of the video kindly leave me a heart sign until we meet next week in class my love my babies my darlings my sweethearts is bye bye stay hydrated